hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to see how actually we can create a data factory in azure portal okay once you will log into the azure portal what we have to do we have to go to the in search bar and we have to search for the data factory okay search for the data factory okay click on this data factory icon okay once you will click this particular screen will come window will come you have to click on the create we are going to create a data factory you should have a subscription select your subscription select your resource group if you don't have any resource group click on the create new and create a resource group I already have a resource group so I will select that okay after that select a name make sure the name should be unique as of now I am giving a name as a POC data factory something random number okay reason we am selecting is to us version we are going with the version 2 okay click on the next if you want to configure a git uh, you can uh, uncheck this uh, because i don't want to configure now so i am clicking on this check mark okay click on the next public endpoint as as of now i am giving because i am doing a practical next next review and a create click on the create button okay once you will click on the create button your deployment will start okay now if you want to monitor it deployment you can see deployment is in progress if you will click on this notification window you will be able to see what are the services we have created and uh, what are the notification you have got it you can see deployment is succeed because previously it was in progress so our data factory is completed click on the go to resource once you will come to this particular screen okay uh, so this is the POC data factory which we have created and here the overview option you can see like the subscription subscription ID and all what we have to do we have to click on this launch studio so the separate window will open where that is for the data factory studio okay here the data most of the activity we will perform in this particular data factory only okay okay so this is the data factory we have created after that click on the launch studio so the new window will open in this particular window only we will perform most of our data pipeline kind of the activity where we will create a uh, data pipelines okay so that actually we will see later in our video okay so this is the azure data factory studio you can see here in left side we have option home author monitor manage and the learning center click on the home click on the author once you click on the author you will be able to see this all the screen pipeline change data capture preview data set data flow power query and all so if you want to create a pipeline you have to click here and click click on the new pipelines you will be able to create a new pipeline okay if i'll click here new pipeline now you can see there are multiple activities which we can perform if you want to move and transform our data you can select move copy and data flow activity if you want to perform a synapse notebook that also you can do since so all the things we are going to learn okay like we have a different uh, you can create a data flow and inside the data flow you can perform a similar like a union and other activities and all we can see we have a lookup validation web failure scenario execute pipeline delete activity everything we are going to learn okay so we can create a pipeline under this pipeline we can perform an activity and the using is very simple if you want to perform a delete activity just drag it okay now come to the this monitor so this was a author window most of the activity will perform here only click on the monitor window okay if you are running any kind of the pipeline you will get all the details and uh, when actually it ran if was it any failure all the things you will get it here means you can monitor your all the pipeline okay and we after that we have a manage where actually you can create your link service integration runtime and all okay that actually we will see later in whenever we'll do a practical okay whenever we'll do end-to-end -end project okay so yeah that's it in this video and this is very simple i hope you got it like how to create a azure data factory